hello so today we are looking at another experiment from the heat transfer set of experiments this is titled heat transfer study or of air as insulator now to perform this experiment these are the equipments that will be required these are the two boxes that are part of the kit then there are two panels both of them are um, paper mesh panels one of them has a internal uh, internally it has a bigger cavity so here you can imagine the the, the cavity um, and it, it's a sandwich of paper mesh and inside there is nothing but cavity uh, air cavity and here in the second one we have intermediate uh, cavities which is small small cavities here um, and this can be termed as uh, the, the panel with small air cavities additionally we will require a couple of other equipments to perform this experiment one is the uh, the temperature gun and a couple of lab thermometers the objective of this experiment is to study um, what is the impact of air as an insulator because these panels here have uh, have empty spaces in between or vacuum in between so there is air entrapped in both these cases and we will be able to compare or the students will be able to compare how uh, does air react um, as uh, how does air react to the uh, or, or uh, what is the impact of air uh, pockets on heat transfer or heat gain inside a building uh, in two cases one is a case where the air pocket is is a bigger pocket and in the other case the air pocket is a smaller pocket like for example you can imagine uh, something in in uh, the AAC blocks which are used for construction we we'll look at the assembly of this experiment we have to so this is the uh, the the small cavity panel i just enter uh, put it on the roof uh, flipped it upside down similarly the the big cavity is, goes like this and the thermometers goes inside the holes that are provided here so the bulb needs to go inside this is the assembly of the experiment we we'll look at the procedure of this experiment to start off i will take this thermometer and i will also take a notebook in which i'll note down the readings firstly i will note down the ambient air ambient air temperature uh, where i am performing this experiment uh, as we already know we need direct exposure uh, to sunlight to ex uh, to be able to perform this experiment and also access to open spaces or rooftops terraces etc now i am noting down the ambient temperature that i have currently it is 40 degree celsius i'll insert it inside i'll need a timer to be able to perform this experiment i'm using my phone uh, and i'll use the stop clock in the phone as a timer i'll start the timer and what i'll also do is i will use this temperature gun here to note down the readings on top so here in the so the first reading i have here is 48 degree celsius and the second reading for that for the other other panel is 50 degree celsius so for small cavity i have 48 degrees and big cavity i have 50 degrees i'll repeat it 
after an interval of one minute each, uh, the the reading that is the surface temperature reading, to get a sense of how uh, the the surface temperature reading varies uh, over a period of time, and I'll do it for a period of ten minutes to be able to get the readings. We have a set of ten readings here. After ten minutes have lapsed, we'll take out the temperature. Uh, so we will take out the thermometer from inside the box and we will note down the internal readings uh, of temperature that we get from the thermometer. So for, from the uh, small cavity uh, panel I am getting a reading of 48 degrees Celsius an internal reading of 48 degrees Celsius and from the big cavity panel I am getting a reading of 54 degrees Celsius. So here clearly we can see that um, the, the panel with smaller air cavities has a bigger impact on heat gain which, which means that it lets uh, less heat to pass through the structure and acts as a bigger thermal insulator and definitely is more impactful and more effective as an insulation medium. And hence, uh, something like an AAC block when used in construction, uh, which has...